Welcome learner. My name is Shivai Devnath. In this tutorial, I will be talk about Kitex login screen. So right now I create three screens required. Uh, so right now I am just using this command for my application and this is actually current applications which actually seen here. And right now I just simply create new screen because this is actually I am using clean architecture. Kitex CLI provides two kind of architecture for application development one is the getx pattern process and another was the clean architecture so i am right now using clean architecture so when we are using the clean architecture so that time we will be create screen and if you using getx pattern so that time you can use page okay so right now i am using a clean architecture so for that purpose i am using screen and name will be login okay so right now this is the login screen and this login screen is already here and after then we need to register screen jstr register screen so this is the register screen also here and after that we need another screen forget screen so these three screens actually required for the user authentication process for the applications because if you are creating any real live application so that time you need to be create this kind of screens for your applications so right now currently i'm discuss about these topics if you are making any real time applications for authentication system so it will be very helpful for your applications okay let's start this is actually screens and this screen actually registered in the routing section this is the actually infrastructure and this infrastructure sections like route section and this route sections have three screens name already registered as per required so login register forget it is automatically registered when i created the three screens for our application so also here have controller binding so this controllers actually manage the application state when we uh, want to change our application data in the presentation folder you get the controller folder with the every module actually this is actually module and here I have two parts here actually and controller actually managing the data state actually because if we are changing any data in the screen so that time this data changing process will help through this controller and this is the actually screen part where we can create screen designing these two things actually binding with the controllers so this controllers actually binding with the dependencies binding when we are calling the next screen so that time we are not using controller directly because this is actually lazy controller lazy controller means when did not require any data from this controller so that time this controller not be initialized in the application memory so for that purpose it is the lazy that means it's optimized the application memory so this is actually our application section and here seen so many suggestions like this and right now i need to be configure it as a first screen and main first screen if you want to navigate so this is the navigation section and this navigation section when we are start the applications so that time these three pages are actually registered here this is the page and route and all these things are get connected routing section so this is the actually nav dot routes so this is the actually routes part and this routes part have navigation dot dot and here actually manage the initial route so where is the initial route initial route is the main application so this is actually initial route that comes from here okay so this is actually initial route so right now i don't use home screen actually it is the actually home screen so right now i don't use the home screen right now i just use the login because right now i need to be design the login screen first so for that purpose i just set up it as a login and after that we need to be restart our application and when we are start so that time i seen just only login screen like this 
ओके सो दिस इज द एक्चुअली बेसिक सेट ऑफ इज रिक्वायर्ड आफ्टर क्रिएटिंग दिस स्केल्स बिकॉज करेंटली आई नीड टू बी इम्प्लीमेंट द डिजाइन इन दिस सेक्शन सो फॉर दैट पर्पज आई नीड टू बी सेट अप द लॉग इन स्क्रीन एज ए डिफॉल्ट एंड नाउ आई विल स्टार्ट द डिजाइन ओके सो दिस इज एक्चुअली मेन स्क्रीन एंड आफ्टर दैट हेयर सीन सो मेनी सजेशन इन दिस स्क्रीन एंड राइट नाउ आई जस्ट सिंपली एट दिस एंड दिस एप वर्ड आई डोंट यूज राइट नाउ सो for that purpose i just remove the app bar section body section is required so here it's okay but right now i need to be change the design interface okay but right now i need to be remove all the things from this section and now i first create here container because container is the base widget when we are start the application design and after that actually we need to be create the form two form field one is the username and another is the password so for that reason i in just use form field it's like same website form if you have knowledge about website designing so you can understand the things this is the actually flow of the application designing first thing i am using the container after then child and here i will be use a some column field and after using this column here have need to be used so many childrens okay so just save it and here i will be use some input field we can also use another field name which is called text form field and after using this text form we can create two text form right now here after using this text form and just we need to be set up it almost uh, center of the screen so for that purpose i can use sized box widget for here and we can mention height and 200 height actually this is the device pixel you can use the login emoji here so i will be discuss about these things in later but right now i just implement the input field here after using this container we can use the padding and also we can set up background color as per requirement you can see the background color is changed okay so this is actually thing we can use so now i just implement the input field here and for that purpose we can applying the decorations and uh, when we are implement the decoration so input border will be outline border and after that we can use prefix icon so in this section we can use the icons widget and after this user symbol we can use the hint section input user name and label text when we are click here so that time this user name goes here this same things copy from here and we can be paste it here it's visible if you want to it secures here we can implement another part which is the suffix icon and here we can use icon button widget for here and now we can set up here icon when we want to see this so that time we can click here and see the change here okay so now i just uh, use it as a true so you did not see anything if you want to see the password so that time you can click here 
and to see the password okay so these two fields almost overlap each other input field so for that purpose we can use the sized box for the padding so these two input field already designed and after that we can use the buttons and uh, right now i need to be use another forget button and register button here we can use the text button like this it is actually good for forget button and after using this we can use another button so for this we can use the widget of row widget and here we can apply the row widget and we can use the elevated button here and this elevated button we can apply two button in parallelly So we are seeing the problem of heights so if you face this kind of challenges so that time you just change the actually these things change you can wrap with another widget which is the single child scroll view widget and if you are using this single child scroll view so that time you can see it like this and your problem almost gone because after using this you can see the scrolling view for here okay so this is actually main process when you are using this and if you want to expand it this option so you can apply the main axis alignment and main axis alignment you can uh, use it eventually after using this you can see it like this and if you want to see it looks good so that time you can wrap with another widget which called expanded and this expanded widget need to be used to both of elements when you are using so that time you can see the output like this okay so this is actually very basic screen design and next part i will be discuss about the register skin and also forget skin if you are like my video so hit the like button of this video and if you are new my youtube channel definitely subscribe my youtube channel and if you want to know about anything for application development software development so you can comment in my videos and if you want to need some part guidance so you can contact with me you can got my website link and from the description box and you can contact to my website and if you are entrepreneur and if you want to record for application development for your startup and for your business so you can contact with me if you have any kind of requirements definitely you can connect to with me